Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC, Hereford LFM. Today we're going to take a look at the mid-season of this um, 2020, sorry, 2031 and 2032 season. Um, and yeah, so it's not been great. Let's go back and look at the table. We are just above the relegation zone. Our graph looks a little bit like... Oh, actually, where is it? There we go. Started all right, and then we quickly started to uh, plateau out in sort of the 20th, 21st sort of categories. Um, no changes except for Archie Mayer. He's our um, new goalkeeper that we brought in in January uh, to replace uh, someone that I can't remember anymore. Let's have a look. To replace Freddie Sands. So basically, a loan for another a loan, just to try and get someone a little bit better for that position. So, we are going to go ahead and play QPR here. I'm not expecting to win. We'll see how this goes. One of the dangers of this save is that we are quickly running out of money. The board has already done, I think, two or three cash injections to keep us afloat. So, yeah. That's going to be one of the main concerns, is um, how are we going to be able to have enough money to survive in this league, because essentially what's happening is we don't have enough money to have good budgets for wages and transfers, therefore we can't pay the sort of wages that players, good players would require. We also don't have any money to buy any players or and pay the wages they require, so essentially it's a money problem that we're not able to fix. I can't really see any talent from within that we could use that's any better than what we have. Potentially some that we could sell. A youth team is doing really well, the under 18s especially. Any 21s, not so much. I think it will take some time for the other 21s to catch up with the sort of level of talent that we have in the under 18s in comparison to other teams of the same level. It's not looking great for us this season. I think we should be able to survive. But in many ways, I think it could be better for us to get relegated. Just so we stabilize a little bit and are able to do something, you know, achieve something at that league. Because at the moment, we're just losing a little bit of momentum here in this league. I guess by staying up, our reputation and following will grow a little bit. But, um, yeah, we, we, there's many things we need to improve. The stadium, we need to increase our stadium so we can sell more game tickets. I think that's one of the things that's letting us down, is that in a game weekend, we don't bring in... We don't have room to bring in all of the fans that would otherwise be able to come in. And therefore, we miss out on a lot of ticket income. So the crowd is at this game. Let's pause it here and have a look. Mm. No, not the visualizer. Match stats. Yeah, match stats. Ten thousand, two and a half thousand fans of this game. Our stadium can only accommodate half of that. So if we had you know, 5,000 more seats in our stadium. We could bring in double the rate, the um, gate receipts. I know it's a big investment, but it would help us. We just need the board to make that sort of investment. It's up to them, really. We can't do anything about it. It's whenever they decide they want to invest in the 
expanded stadium. Just a little bit of room to grow. That's what we need. Right, let's look at the subs at halfway. I have to bring in Charlie Lambert um, from the youth. Actually, what also happened is that the winter months we had a lot of matches back to back. A lot of the times we only have two days rest between the matches, and it's been like that non stop essentially. So, um, yeah, we've we've had to manage some of the fitness levels in the club to keep us going and I think that hurt us a little bit actually by not being able to rest our players properly we're not being performing as well as we could we've had no shots at all <laughs> non-existent G Possession is actually not too bad, but it's not going to help giving you a penalty, is it? Terrible match. Whoops, sorry. Terrible match. Against QPR. What position is QPR in, actually? Just out of curiosity. Much further up than we are sort of mid to top half, so we're literally just fighting really hard against the relegation. But there we are, I will come back again at the end of the season to show you how it all turned out. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Um, you can like and subscribe, you can also check out the Patreon so you can name some of the new gens and then we'll follow their stories uh, as well. Um, in your memory. All right. Thanks so much for the support. Thanks. Bye-bye.